and this is the second part of uh, drawing a ninja. Um, today we're going to like define some of these pencil lines, uh, make them more darker, and you know, because a, a typical ninja is usually black, um, but without an afro, you know, because we don't have afros on ninjas, um, unless they're like uh, black uh, brother ninjas or something, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Right. So like we're doing like some uh, pencil lines here, and you know, you know, uh, making it all darker, like I said before, and. You know, because we've already established all our pencil lines in the previous video. So what we want to do is just, just to really make it stand out. You know, and uh, you know, if I was to ink it, you know, later, which I don't think I'll do on this one, I'll just make this draw pencil drawing. Um, you know, you've got all your pencil marks in place to do the inking work. Um, one of the things I liked about ninjas uh, as a kid was the old. Uh, Kung Fu films and all the, all the ninja films, you know, where you see him like flying through the air and that. And, uh, well, I saw this ninja film before, like, and it was flying on these big beds, you know. <laughs> can't what film it was. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to look that up on, a, on the internet and see what it was. Uh, but, it, you know, I remember it was real cool, all these ninjas in it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll just add the shade in there. Um, those circles, I think I'll do some uh, shurikens. You know, they're the ninja throwing stars, are they? You know, that you can throw at people's heads and you know, all that jazz, you know. Not in real life, you understand, just, just, uh, just what ninjas do, you know. It's like the four pointing star ones, yeah. Which do exist, because I've seen them myself. It's just a case of uh, just building your drawing up, really. Um, you know, from what you've uh, drawn previously. Um, and if it doesn't turn out, just you know, just just rub it out, start again. But I've just gone with this one since I'm doing it on video. I just want to get it, you know, all on video. And it seems to be working out okay. I think you remember in the last video, I didn't want to do the below the sword that he's holding. I didn't want to do the legs because I wanted to do the, the sword where the sword was a cut off point. So it looks like he's holding the sword more. Um, obviously, like with one hand, um, he could be holding something else in his other hand, but I haven't really drawn that yet, so I don't know. It's just a case of shading, black areas in. And that's pretty much it really. 